Prepare your home for winter and protect your pipes from the cold with these tips. Before you begin, make sure you know the location of the main water shutoff valve so you can turn off the water quickly if needed. Some homes have exterior faucets with cutoff valves. If yours does, close them and drain the faucets. If not, insulate them with foam faucet covers. A standard faucet can freeze and rupture, but a product called a silcock just might be the answer to your freeze problems. This silcock is made by SharkBite and works with CPVC, PEX, and copper, all without having to sweat or glue the connection. It comes in an 8 and a 12 inch length, depending on the thickness of your wall. First, open the faucet and allow any leftover water to drain out of the pipe. Under the house, cut the pipe, but make sure you don't cut it too short. You can always come back later and trim it if you need to. Back outside, remove the old faucet and slide the silcock into place. Fill the hole in the wall with a waterproof sealant and screw securely into the wall. Back under the house, you're ready to make your connection. Clean the pipe and remove any rough edges, and with the SharkBite depth gauge, make a mark on your pipe. Insert the pipe into the SharkBite connection all the way to your mark. Turn the water back on, check for leaks, and you're done. For an extra level of protection, you can also install a faucet cover that will insulate your faucet from direct exposure. Consider insulating your pipes with foam tubing. Cut the tubing to the lengths that you need using a utility knife or a pair of shears. When you get to an elbow, you can use foam corners that make it easy. Just split the tubing and wrap it around your pipes. Make sure you loosely wrap a little bit of duct tape around the insulation along the way to keep it secure. Insulation works best if it has a little bit of room to breathe. Garden hoses can pose a danger to exterior faucets too. Be sure to disconnect them to prevent water from freezing in the hose and rupturing the faucet. Drain the hoses and store them where they'll be protected from the cold weather. Finally, once temperatures dip below freezing, be sure to check the water flow periodically. If you notice a drop in the water pressure, it might be a sign that the pipes are beginning to freeze. Leave the faucets open, allowing a slow drip to keep the water flowing and to relieve pressure. These are a few steps you can take to protect your pipes and prepare your home for the winter. For more tips on winterizing your home, go to Lowe's.com or click on the links in the description.